Hello, everybody, and good morning, um, or good afternoon, or uh, good evening, even, because I don't know what time it is for you, but for me, it is the morning. It's like 11.30 a.m.-ish, generally. But anyway, welcome to today's uh, stream. My name is Vitruvian J, and today we're doing uh, some, some fun little browser games on neil.fun, because I thought it would be dot fun. <laughs> yeah, on my schedule said I was just gonna, like, wing it or whatever, so, uh, this is how we're winging it, but, um, I've never done any of these before, and there's all kinds of games! I guess the password game is a really popular one, but, un exactly, but, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess the password game is popular. That one had its own dedicated Twitch tag, um, but I've never heard of the password game. I've seen Draw Perfect Circle. That that could be fun because I have a tablet, but it's more fun to do it with a mouse. Um, but the one that really caught my eye was Absurd Trolley Problems, because um, we're all familiar with with the trolley problems. Um, but Ambient Chaos that looks interesting. Dark patterns the size of space. There's so many things. Uh, I don't know how many we're gonna do, because I don't know how long... Oh, spend Bill Gates money, I'm familiar with that one. Um, draw logos from memory, that sounds fun too. Life stats? That sounds existential. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Well, I, I want to begin with absurd trolley problems, because that's... Oh my god, I'm gonna have to check this out at some point, right? Like, I've had this, I've had this bookmarked for a while. Um, and I completely forgot about it until I was at a total loss for what to what to stream today. Um, I was gonna do Fate because it's it's Friday and I was like, oh, I could make an alliteration thing. It could be Fate Friday, but like, I slept like shit last night. Fate Grand Order is a bunch of reading. It already makes me sleepy to go through it. Like, I don't want to put on a game that's gonna make me tired. <laughs> so. Yeah, so, so yeah, d dug this out from, uh, from, from the, you know, depths of my hundreds of bookmarks. But, um, yeah, I, I want to start with Absurd Trolley Problems, because that's why I, uh, I bookmarked it in the first place. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I just, sleep is my greatest enemy. I, as a person, just, I, I just, I suck at sleeping. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> like, it's also super hot. Just, <laughs> you know, on the planet Earth. Uh, except in the southern hemisphere, but like where I am, it's it's super hot. We're coming to the end of the heat wave, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, it's been so hot. It's been so hot. It's been so hot. It's I don't know where where you're at. I'm in the U.S. I'm in, on the West Coast, and it's been like a hundred degrees for us for the last like week, which is like 38 to 39 degrees Celsius. Um. It's been insufferable from the Midwest, yeah. Like, I've heard even even in, like, the Midwest, like, it's... I hear it's breaking records all over the place. All over the place. We, like, Arizona uh, broke a record just last weekend. They hit, like, 120 degrees in Arizona and also in, like, the Palm Springs area in Southern California. It was fucking wild, my dude. There's... This heat is is ridiculous. But we're we're, like, at the end of it. There's only like, a day or two left of the super high temperatures, and then it starts to dip nationwide. Um, so that's nice. But then it sucks for European people, because I guess it's just continuing eastward. Today's the hottest year. Yesterday was our hottest day. <laughs> Today's only, like, two degrees cooler, but yesterday was our hottest for where I'm at. But I have, I have a friend in Ireland who is dreading the heat. It's like it's totally moving towards Europe now, so it's supposed to hit them like around Monday or so. So that's gonna suck for them, but um, yeah, because because Europeans are not good with the heat. They're prepared for the winter, not so much the like super hot, ridiculous summers. So it sucks for them. But I guess to return to the point. <laughs> You're not equipped, or yeah, they're not equipped for it at all. Well, neither am I, but yeah, they're not equipped for it whatsoever. But, uh, yeah. So to, I guess to return to the original point of the, the rambling about the heat, I suck at sleeping, and the heat makes it worse. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sleeping's just uncomfortable. Um, 
I don't think I've slept like a solid, like, I, I don't think I've slept through a night in, in like years. So like, it's normal, but it's just some nights are worse than others. So like, I'm fine. I'm just tired. But, uh, yeah, so we're, we're doing something that doesn't require me to think. Like making decisions of morality. <laughs> I, I will, I will, I promise. Um, and speaking of which, I did rest yesterday, so my arms are feeling okay. Um, hence why I'm streaming today, because I do feel a little bit better. But I don't know how many absurd trolley problems there are, but this this will be fun. Level 1, the original. Oh no! Oh no. A trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. What do you do? Whoops. I will pull the lever. Splat! That was funny. 73% of people agree with you. 27% disagree. Interesting. I didn't know we were going to get statistics about it. But, um, it's taking everything in my power not to make a fake Grand Order joke. I'll lurk around for now because i got to get some things done, but I'll still be here. Wonderful! Well, thank you for the lurk! I will be narrating all of these absurd trolley problems as I go along. But, yes, thank you for the lurk. Oh, goodness. Oh, no! A trolley is heading towards five people now. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing four people instead. What do you do? Oh boy, this very much is the Kiritsugu Emiya issue, isn't it? Maybe I should have made that fate joke 34 seconds ago. Um, <laughs> if you always kill the lesser amount of people to save the larger amount of people, eventually you're going to end up tipping the scales in the opposite direction because if I pull the lever, we've killed five, which meant the original five deaths would have... we would. It's even, buddy. Is that the lesson here? Is that the listen lesson here? Um, I'll kill four people. Let's see. 66% of people agree with you. 34% disagree. Interesting. My life savings are on the track now. Oh my god, four dollars. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it on the track, but then your life savings will be destroyed. What do you do? Um, wait, I pull the lever and my life savings will be destroyed. Well, I don't really have much in my life savings, and, um, I'll pull the lever. I'll pull the lever. Because it's just money. 61%- only 61% of people agree with me? Oh my goodness. 39% disagree. 39% would kill five people rather than give up their life savings. That's certainly interesting. I wonder why. Well, I guess it's, like, life savings. Like, I don't have any life- <laughs> I don't have any life savings. I don't think I'm capable of having life savings. Um... Interesting. Apologies, a bug just flew into my freaking eyeball. Or next to my eye, anyway. Oh, I'm on the track now! Oh, goodness gracious. Um... Oh, no! <laughs> a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself instead. And we'll see, if I'm sacrificing myself, then I feel like I would need additional context. Um... First of all, why are we all on the track? Second of all, who put me here? Third of all, who are the other people on the track? Do I give a shit about them? Because that's really what it boils down to, isn't it? Seems like a little bit cruel, but like, honestly... Um, also, not to go like, what, which, which edition of the Saw movie was it where it was like, it was the insurance one and like the dude had to make a choice between like the elderly woman who had a bunch of family but who was like on her way out and then like the young healthy dude who had nobody who cared about him and it was like, which one are you gonna, you know, which one do you choose? Because if there's, like, five people here, I'm thinking way too much about the absurd trolley problem. But if there's five people here, and they're just, like, five individual people who don't have family and no friends or anything, then, like, sure, I'll just kill them because it doesn't matter, right? But, versus me. I don't know. It sounds really cruel to say it out loud, but I'm sure that y'all get what I'm, trying, what I'm trying to say here. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do nothing because I would like to live. <laughs> Only 60% of people agree with me. That's interesting. 40% of people would would die to save five others. I don't know. D again, depending on the context, maybe I would also pull the, the 
the the lever and kill myself. Kind of depends. Um. Oops, uh, let's see. Oh no! A trolley is heading towards five people again. Um, you can pull the lever to divert it, but then the original copy of the Mona Lisa will be destroyed. This is indeed a dilemma. Listen. My name is Vitruvian. Do you know why my name is Vitruvian? Because I was based off the parameters of the Vitruvian Man. You know who drew the v v Vitruvian Man? Da Vinci. You know what else Da Vinci did? The Mona Lisa. <laughs> There's a bit of a connection here. Um... I'm gonna do nothing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> to only 23% of people saved the Mona Lisa to, and killed the other people. Oh my goodness. Well, whatever. A trolley is headed towards a rich man. Oh, I'm fucking. I'm leaving it. The rich man offers only 50,000 or five five hundred thousand dollars to pull the lever. Which would you do ever kill the trolley? Kill someone else? Nah, dude. Eat the rich. Eat the rich. Redistribute his wealth. 50-50 split? 50-50? Only 50... I feel like 50% of people who participated in this out of the 4,617,193 people. I feel like they need to reevaluate the lives of the rich. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh goodness. A trolley is heading towards five lobsters? You can pull the lever and divert it to the other track, running over a cat instead? I mean, to be fair, the lobsters would probably have a better chance of surviving. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do nothing. Seafood. 85% of people agree. <laughs> We're getting free lunch. Um, heading towards five people. I mean, oh no! A trolley is heading towards five people who are sleeping and won't feel pain. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over someone who is wide awake instead. Now this is interesting. Now this is interesting. What would I do in this situation? I'm going into my logic brain. What would I do in this situation? And for what purpose? I'll kill the person who's wide awake. 52% of people agree with you. 48% disagree. Now this one I feel like I need to expound, expound on my thought process. Because I thought about, um, First of all, it's just one person, versus it's five people. I feel like... I feel like the... okay. For once, I'm reflecting on, like, the grief factor involved in this. So, you know, assuming that these are just regular folks, the loss of one person is far less devastating than the loss of five, regardless of the manner of death, I suppose. So, even though that one person was probably terrified because they were wide awake before they got ran over by a trolley, five people are gonna wake up and they'll be fine. Probably a little bit traumatized that they were, like, captured, tied up, put on a fucking railway as they were sleeping and then they were none the wiser because that is just a different level of terror. But. I do think that the five- saving the five people in this instance is better. Okay. Oh no! A trolley is heading towards five people who tied themselves to the track? Oh well. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person who <laughs> accidentally tripped onto the track instead. Nah, we're, we're, we're doing nothing. They tied themselves to the track. They knew the risks. They knew the risks. 79% of people agree with you. 20%, 21% of people would just, would, would, would divert the trolley to the person who tripped. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, anything for the humor. Oh, no. A trolley is heading towards five people. The lever just speeds up the trolley, which might, which might make it less painful. What do you do? So the one person doesn't even matter. I'm just, I'm just considering the speed at which the trolley devastates five lives. I mean, it'll also make a bigger mess if it's faster, right? Um, can't believe that's where my brain goes. <laughs> I've, I've completely skipped the, the idea of oh, it's, it's sad. Let's consider the pain, and I'm just like, but what's the mess gonna be like when we're done? <laughs> um which might make it less painful. I mean, maybe. I guess I guess I'll pull the lever. Oh, that we zoomed. 71% of people agree. I don't know. Um seems wasn't really much of it as I, like they're getting run over either way. It almost seems like a moot point. Um Oh no. Uh, I have to say it every time. A trolley is heading towards one guy one guy. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, then your Amazon package will be late. Pfft, I'm, pulling, I'm pulling the lever. My Amazon shit's late anyway. 20% of people disagree. 20% of people want their Amazon package so bad that they're gonna kill one guy. If that doesn't tell you something about capitalist America, <laughs> I don't know what does. My best friend is on the track. I like his glasses. My best friend does wear glasses. This is, the immersion is insane. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards your best friend. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing five strangers and said, I'm pulling the lever, I'm saving my best friend. I don't give a shit. 29% of people would, would kill their best friend to save, to, sa to save a bunch of strangers. Maybe you guys aren't really best friends then. Hmm? 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 Something to consider. Oh my goodness, my vision, it's gone. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other one. Killing one person instead. At least that's what you think is happening. You forgot your glasses and can't see that well. What do you do? This is just like my vision when I wake up in the morning. I don't know if it's concerning, but recently, um, and why recently, I mean like within the last month, whenever I wake up, I fucking can't see anything for like a good 10 minutes. It, my vision is just so blurry at the start of every single day. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's like, if, if something's happening with my stupid aging homunculus vision, but it's been very difficult to see when I wake up. Um, uh, uh, I for, oh yeah, I forgot my glasses and can't see that well. I also forgot my brain. Um, I'll, I'm gonna do nothing. I can't see what's going on well enough to make a well-informed decision. So if anything, my crime is, um, passivity. My second cousin's and my first cousin. What's the difference between a second cousin and a first cousin? I don't know if it's like a difference just in like family values, but a cousin's a cousin, bruh. Um, at least we treated them all the same. Does it really matter? I don't know. Um, oh no! The trolley is heading towards one of your first cousins. You can pull the lever and divert it to the other track, killing three of your second cousins instead. What do you do? Isn't a second cousin, like... Like... It's like my uncle's cousin, right? Like, it's, it's like a little bit removed or something. It's like the children of my uncle's cousins. Right? That's a second cousin? Because, like, my uncle's children are first cousins. So then, if my uncle's cousins have children, those are second cousins, right? Right? No, because... If it's my uncle's cousins, then it's also, like my mother or father's cut I don't know enough about <laughs> I don't I don't know enough about um 
family trees to understand what a second cousin is. It is a cousin. Is it a cousin through marriage or something? There's not like a. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Now I'm thinking about like my cousins. This um. Uh, I'll do nothing because it's one person versus three people. Regardless of who they are. 59% of people agree. I don't know, that one was kind of like, whatever. Oh, the fucking babies on the railroad track. Who was the negligent parent who left their child next to a railroad track? Oh no! The trolley is headed towards f oh, five elderly people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the track running over a baby instead. What do you do? I'm fucking leaving it alone. They're all... They're gonna die anyway. 76% of people agree with you. Alright, good to know. Oh fuck, I'm on the- I'm on- I'm there again. Oh no, a trolley is barreling towards five identical clones of you. You can pull the lever and divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself instead. What do you do? Well, um... This is probably just like two chapters removed, two degrees removed from actual Vitruvian J lore. Um, I'm doing nothing because I exist. I'm me. The clones aren't me. I'm right here. 12% of people disagree. What's wrong with you? Um, oh no! A trolley is heading towards a mystery box with a 50% chance, chance of containing two people. Okay, um, you can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting a mystery box with a 10% oh gosh, a 10% chance of 10 people instead. Um, this requires math. Do I want to do math? It's not even noon yet. Fucking math. 10% chance of 10 people. What does that mean? 50% chance of 2 people. But then what's the remaining 50%? That there's nothing in there? So then there's a 90% chance that there's less than 10 people? Or there's an additional percent that there's more than 10 people. S ugh. Could you be more specific? <laughs> um, let's see. I'll do nothing. 44% of people agree with you. 56% disagree. I think 56% of people didn't do math, but, like, looked at smaller number and was, like, smaller number, yes. Um, robots are on the- on the- <laughs> I was gonna say robots are on the battlefield. Goodness gracious. Um, anyway. Oh no! A trolley is heading towards five sentient robots! Oh god, they gave the robots sentience. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one human instead. sentient robots, huh? Hmm. That does make this a little bit different. But is it really that much different from killing five individual people? No, it's not. So I, I would I would pull the lever and kill the one human person. S only 16% agree with me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Economic damage. Level 19? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards three empty trolleys worth $900,000. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting one empty trolley worth 300000 instead. What do you do? What's the drawback here? Three empty trolleys versus one empty trolley. It's like the... I'll pull the lever and destroy the one. Splat! 78% of people agree. What was the point of the additional trolleys? Like, where... Because the math was also, like, it's... I mean, they're all worth the same, so the math is the same, and it's not like they're trolleys full of people. It just costs less money. Anyway. What is going on here? Oh no, a trolley is releasing- oh goodness. A hundred kilograms of s 
of, of, of uh, carbon dioxide per year, which will kill five people over 30 years. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Trolley is releasing 100 kilograms of CO2 per year, which will kill five people over 30 years. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting a brick wall and decommissioning the trolley. What will you do? I mean, public transportation is important. Um, also, hello! Welcome, Chai. We're doing absurd trolley problems, and this one's like... Making me calculate. Math. <laughs> Again. Um, I mean, public transportation is important. Could the trolley not be electric? Right? Le okay, yeah. This this is a very interesting one to come in on. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm getting too specific, though. It would be great if the trolley was electric, but that's not the question. The question is... Well, five people over 30 years. But there's just gonna be another trolley. I like destruction. We're pulling the lever. Decommissioning the tr I s We splatted them both. 60% of people agree with you. Alright, what's this one? They're all me, again? Oh my goodness. Oh no, you're a reincarnated being who will eventually be reincarnated as every person in this classic trolley problem. What do you do? <laughs> as every per- well, what kind of fifth dimensional nonsense is this? Do you want to die once or five times, right? Or every single time that I decided to kill somebody here? I suppose it doesn't matter then, because it's, like, infinite, in theory, which also means that I'm infinitely living in equal parts. Loophole. Um, I will do nothing. Because it doesn't matter. 47% of people agree, and 53% disagree. 53% of people need to think outside the box a little bit more. Because if they're all you, then they're also not you. And if you're living, you're like living, right? Yes, Cur you understand. Um, oh no, a trolley is heading towards nothing. But you kind of want to prank the trolley driver. What do you do? I'm gonna prank. I'm gonna. I'm gonna prank the trolley driver. <laughs> Thirty-seven percent of people did not want to do a harmless prank. Lame. Uh, let's see. Oh no! Again, a trolley is heading towards a good citizen. Ah, oh, well, I mean, what is the measure of good and evil, really? You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over someone who litters instead. What do you do? Um, I'm doing nothing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bad citizen is the one who... <laughs> Bad citizen? Good citizen. With the two genders. <laughs> um, what are you? Um, the, the three genders. Bad citizen, good citizen, the citizen with a lever. Fourth gender, the trolley. Um, we're pulling the lever. Fuck littering. Uh, 80% <laughs> of people agree with you. Oh no, due to a construction error, a trolley is stuck in an eternal loop. If you pull the lever, the trolley will explode! Oh gosh. And if you don't, the trolley and its passengers will go in circles for eternity. What do you do? Wow, this is just like working retail. Um, should I release them from this awful... Samsara cycle. I identify as a trolley track lever. See, there we go. We're inventing, like, new new genders each day. For this one, I think if I were to choose a gender presented in this absurd trolley problem, I would be the do-nothing button. Um, but that is not indicative of my choice. Let's see. Because you could just we could just, like, explode it. Why can't- why- I'm thinking too much again. Listen. Why can't the trolley just stop? What is keeping the trolley going eternally? It's gotta have, like, gas or something. Instant death or long, slow death, right? Let's see. Once again, I'm thinking about the mess factor. Explosions create a lot of mess. But I guess if we were to infer from earlier... No, now the trolley is electric. See? I See? Yeah. I was, I was gonna say, if the trolley is not electric this time, though... If, if, this is the same, well no, because we destroyed the other trolley. Okay, in theory, listen. In theory, 
if this was one of the other trolleys that was producing 100 kilograms worth of CO2 that would kill five people in 30 years, then, like, it's more correct to explode it and and get rid of the amount, first of all, get rid of, of, of a trolley producing so much waste. And secondly, it's gotta be like producing more because it's on an etern- it's running eternally, you know? You know what I'm saying? We're gonna explode the trolley, is what this is all- all to say. Um, pull the lever, the trolley will explode. Okay, yes. Goodbye. 57% <laughs> of people agree with you. I think we should all explode trolleys for fun. What's this? Oh, he looks angry. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards your worst enemy! Oh. You can pull the lever to divert the trolley and save them, or you can do nothing, and no one will ever know. What do you do? I'm gonna do nothing because no one will ever know, except the, the, however many people are watching. <laughs> um, this is not indicative of any future crimes I may commit. Um, legally. Disclaimer, right? 49% of people have- 49%? That's it? It's your mortal enemy and nobody will know! Nobody will know. How would they know? They're gonna know. If you stream it. Um, <laughs> lifespan. Interesting. 51% of people are cowards. I agree. Um, oh, no. A trolley is heading towards a person and... Wait. Oh, I, c I, I thought it said and willpower. I'm like, they're not even, not just heading towards a person, but also towards their willpower? Insane. Um, anyway. Charlie is heading towards a person and will lower their lifespan by 50 years. Well, it'll lower it a whole lot more than that, because they're gonna die now. Um, you can pull the lever to divert the trolley and lower the lifespan of five people by 10 years instead. I mean, does that mean that, like, all of these people are just expected to die within 10 years and this person is expected to, to die within 50 and that's what we're going off of here? Um, I mean... So I guess age doesn't really- age is not a factor, because they really could just be anybody if their lifespans are finite and decided. So... Um... Lower the lifespan of- well, someone can accomplish a whole lot more in 50 years, I think. That uh, Charlie took notes from the Princess Bride. <laughs> Man, I love the Princess Bride. I should watch it. Uh, my... My sister watches it all the time. Um, and Shrek. She watches Shrek constantly, too. But, um, Shrek is her favorite movie, though, so, um, Princess Bride is my other sister's favorite movie. <laughs> but anyway, I love the Princess Bride. Uh, let's see. I will, what's, what's the, do nothing saves the per, no, do nothing kills the 50 lifespan person. We're pulling the lever. Oh, they just got a little bit banged up. Poor Wesley times five. What is that? A portal? Oh no, a trolley is- I mean- Oh no! A trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sending the trolley into the future to kill five people a hundred years from now? Wow, that's worse than the trolley that- that emitted a hundred kilograms of CO2 that would kill five people in 30 years. Um... What do you do? What do I do? Um... Okay, but consider. Consider. I think it's funny if I were to send this trolley a hundred years into the future. Because like what what it's just gonna pop out somewhere. It'll be it'll be so out of the blue and so instant, everyone will be like, what the fuck? And it'll make it'll it'll cause such a domino effect of how was this possible? Like, I like the idea of sending it into the future because if nothing else, it's hilarious. Um Pull the lever. 70% of people agree with you. I'm working off of comedy. I don't know what the other 30% are uh, working off of. Or 70% for that matter. Um, oh no. Again. A trolley problem... A trolley... <laughs> a trolley problem is playing out before you. Do you actually have a choice in this situation? Or has everything been predetermined since the universe began? Oh goodness gracious. 
I have a choice or I don't have a choice. Why would you throw this at me? Level 28, free will. I mean... I mean... I have a choice in this game. Haha! -ha. That's what I would have gone with, the one person! Damn, it only took 28 levels to give people an existential crisis, right? Only 28 levels. <laughs> oh! That's it! Congratulations, you have solved philosophy, and I killed 72 people. <laughs> oh boy. Only 72 people. I wonder if if I had gone through and I had taken the option that quote unquote killed more people, like on on just like at face value, if the kill count would have been more than seventy two, or if it would have been less. Murder root, kill as many as possible. Genocide root. <laughs> Neil dot fun genocide root. Um, all right, let's see more posts on Neil dot fun. But I'm kind of curious. I, I made, I don't think you were here earlier, but I made um, a, a joke about, um, I guess not really a joke, but I, I made I made a, a connection to like, I don't know if you're familiar with the Fate series, but Kiritsugu Emiya, how he was always like, if you kill, if you kill the, the lesser amount of people, if you, if you kill the less to save the greater, right? Kill a few to save the many, then obviously you're saving more people than you're killing. But, but he killed so many of the few that he ended up killing more people than he saved. Um, so I was like, oh, is the trolley problem gonna do this to me? Is the trolley problem, by, by killing the few and saving the many, am I actually doing the reverse? But I don't want to go through it all again. It's just interesting philosophical things to, to consider. Um, so let's see. What were other things that I, that I, well, a lot of these are really interesting. Let's see. I hear a lot of people say the password game is fun, but I don't know what it is. Um, Space Elevator, Wonders of Street View, Draw Perfect Circle. I looked at Asteroid Launcher earlier and it just kind of seems like a little bit, there's no sound, so I don't want to do Asteroid Launcher days since incident earth reviews design the next what's let's settle this ambient chaos though 10 years ago universe forecast sell 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 rocks 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 oh. rocks or do I only have four no stop wait no rocks. I wonder if I can I no I was gonna try to toss it I can't really toss it these rocks have some wild gravity I wonder I wonder if I can stack them from smallest to Turn around. Smallest to largest. Um, no. Go, no. The, yeah. Nope. Stay, nope. 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 No, 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 no,
Well, that was fun, but let's go back. <laughs> oh, my poor rocks. Um, printing money, life stats. Life stats seems like it's gonna give another existential crisis. Dark patterns, though, looks... And who was alive? Where does the day go? Life checklist? Oh, jeez. Um... Hmm. Baby map? No, thank you. Progress. Spend Gil Bill Gates money. I already know what that one is. Draw logos from memory. That one would be funny. Um... Let's do dark patterns, because that sounds interesting, and I have no idea what it... Oh, my goodness. Websites on the internet are constantly trying to get you to complete actions. Well, they sure are. Um, whether it's buying something, recommending a friend, or posting private information, there's a lot of value in getting you to perform specific actions. However, some websites, websites go too far and try to trick or mislead you into doing what they want. This has led to what are called dark patterns, quote-unquote, or shady ways of tricking you into performing actions without you knowing. Ooh. It's important that you are aware of these patterns, and so below are a list of dark patterns with interactive examples. The more you know, the more control you will have. Okay, interesting. I'm learning. Sneak into a basket. The sneak into basket technique is often used to get you to buy extra unnecessary items without your knowledge. It works by sneakily adding items to your shopping cart right before your purchase. Um, simply look at your cart. Um, I'm gonna buy a cool item. Item you actually want. Item warranty, unrelated item, unrelated item, unrelated item. I mean, I would simply just look at my cart before I hit the purchase button, so I wouldn't complete the purchase. I wouldn't complete the purchase. Do people not look at their shopping carts? Confirm shaming. Confirm shaming. Sounds like something TikTok would invent. Confirm shaming is when websites make the no option something terrible to guilt you into saying yes instead. Oh, well, simply don't care about the feelings of websites. The technique is a favorite among blogs and news sites to get you to subscribe to their newsletters. It actually just makes me hit the X button. No, I hate amazing content. No, I hate cute dogs. No, I like eating babies. <laughs> oh, gracious. I think we need more global warming. Equality is bad for society. I hate, I mean, oh, it's just gonna give me the same ones. Well, we're gonna end on a, I like eating babies. Sure. Uh, the secret to, to my homunculus longevity is that I eat babies. Um, take that out of context. Fake friend request. Social media sites use this technique to trick you into sending more friend requests. I have bold of them to assume that I know enough people to, to, to send friend requests to. Uh, they do this by sending you f oh, they send me fake requests. Well, bold of you to think that I would add anybody that I don't know. Um... Maybe I'm just doing social media the, the correct way, if none of these are, like, <laughs> like teaching me anything. Uh, they do this by sending you fake friend requests, and when you accept them, you're actually sending a friend request instead. The fuck? It's social media's way of influencing who you connect with. Well, I wouldn't accept any of these people. I don't know a Tom Thompson, a Jim Jimson, or an Ann Anson. Anyway. Fake notifications. Oh, I fucking hate fake notifications. I hate fake notifications. The first thing I do when I sign up on any social media is I go into my settings and into my notifications and I shut all of them off. I do not want email updates. I do not want push notifications. I do not want any of it. Do not notify me. Do not notify me. Do not notify me. Maybe I'm alone in this. But anyway, I should read this. Uh, social media sites want you to get into the habit of checking your notifications regularly, and so some sites will send you fake notifications. These notifications are not relevant to you, but get you in the habit of checking them. That's why I shut them off. Um, segmented email list. Oh, that sounds awful. Uh, companies love using blah, blah, whatever. Uh, share the article. Desperate friend request. UI switcheroo. Oh, I hate the UI switcheroo. Just when you're getting the hang of the UI layout, some websites will switch it up to trick you. This is usually done to get you to accept something by mistake. Tumblr did this recently. They switched the locations of, like, the reblog and the like button, and it's, it's awful. Um, anyway, this one's kind of boring. I'm gonna go back. Oh no, how do I go back? You may also like... I already did absurd trolley problems. Let's do... Let's do who was alive, because I don't know what that is. Oh my god, who was alive in... What, wait, is that, like, 18... Oh, wait, no, this is just, like... 
It's telling you who was alive. Not posing a question as to who was alive. I thought this was going to be a test. I wonder how far back I can go. Can I go... Can I go negative? Can we go into the negative years? Um, negative? <gasps> Oops, I changed all my st oh, I changed my scenes on accident. Forgot I could I have hotkeys. <laughs> okay. Forgot that I have all my hotkeys tied to my number pad. Uh anyway, we're we we can't really go back to to what I wanted to go back to. Um I wanted to look at like ancient Mesopotamia because of course I did. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I want to go to like Why wouldn't I want to go there. Um, what's ambient chaos? Oh my, oof. Oh, jeez. What is this? Oh, I could just create sounds. I already have background music, though, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's, let's draw a perfect circle. Can you draw a perfect circle? Go. Draw a circle around this. Okay. I'm not gonna cheat. I have my tablet. It's right here. But, um, I'm gonna use the mouse and see. There's an ant on my wall. Motherfucker. I actually had an ant problem this morning. I have a bunch of plants in my room, and it's, again, it's just been so hot that the ants were coming in through my windowsill to get at, like, the moisture at that that's in my plant. So, because uh, I've got se I've got several plants that are just, like, in, in water because they need to grow roots. So they were, like, all over the jars this morning. So that's how- that's how I spent my morning. I woke up and I was like, God, it's hot. Oh fuck, there's ants all over the place! But, so there was just one on my wall. So I hope they're not, like, making a comeback. I'm gonna have to check again after stream. Like, they're just ants. They're not gonna do anything other than, like, crawl everywhere and be a nuisance. But, um, anyway, we're drawing circles. Oh, that was awful. How do I- how do I try again? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I guess I just do, do it again. Oh, that one was worst. Worst? Worse. Oh! 94.4% of a circle with a mouse. 93.6. Oh, that one was not good. That one was awful. That one was terrible. That one's awful worst. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nope. 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 Oh, that one's not very good. That one's more like a square. Oof. Uh, drawing circles. Whoa, oh my god, that's not a circle at all! Not bad for like, oops, sorry, for using a mouse. Can I get more than, can, I, I don't think I can get better than 94%. <gasps> I got better than 94% <gasps> with a mouse. <gasps> okay, I wanna see, I'm gonna grab my tablet. Um, I gotta put my glove on so I don't smear it. Um, get my gross, you know, flesh body oils all over the friggin' tablet. Alright. Pro circle drawer. Right? Now we're gonna use the tablet. <laughs> we're gonna see if we can get better than 95.3% with a drawing tablet. However, the display is off, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Um, I have my secondary monitor plugged in, and this is nothing, well, I guess it does have to do with drawing the circles. But my my tablet and my secondary monitor both need um, to be plugged in via HDMI port, and I only have one e HDMI port on my uh, desktop computer. So I can only have either my tablet display part plugged in. My tablet still functions, I just can't turn on the, the display and like look at it. But like, you know, I can, I can still move the cursor like I'm doing right now. But um, yeah, so I can't turn on the display, it makes it a little bit more difficult, I guess. But, um, let's, let's, not good. I mean, I think that that looks like a really good circle, but it's only like 90% circle. You have a fancy drawing tablet. I sure do. It's not like, oh, 94.8, that's pretty good. It's not like, it's not big, 
it's like um, probably only around the size of like a piece of paper. But um, and it's my first ever drawing display tablet with this with a screen on it because before I, I've I've been doing digital art for like ten years or so, but I got this one maybe about a year and a half ago, and it's the first one that I've ever gotten with a screen on it. So um, it's nice, very luxurious. Maybe if I draw. So that was way too close. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> I can't believe my freehand one was better. Hope one day I get one with a screen. I hope so too, they're very nice. Like, I, I avoided getting one- Oh man, so close! I think I had less tries with a mouse though to get a perfect circle. But, um, or as close to a perfect circle as I got. Maybe, like, not thinking about it is, is the trick. But, um, I avoided getting uh, one with the display for a long time because, like, I don't know. I, I, like, I didn't need one. I could draw perfectly fine without looking at it. But, um, my old tablet broke, and I was like, well, if I'm gonna get a new tablet, then I might as well upgrade, because I felt like getting a display tablet would, um, help with my workflow. Um, and it has. Br wrong way! I was just drawing, man. Well, I wonder if... Wow, that was nice for drawing the opposite direction. Yeah, like, I, I felt like it would, like, maybe, maybe it would help me just do things a little bit, eas like, better or something? Like, I don't know. Because if I, if you can draw, like, you can draw, right? Like, it's just, it's just drawing. If you can already do it, you can still do it if you just have a different screen. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Uh, my display tablet is getting old and slowing down and starting to be glitchy. Oh no, I'm so sad about it. It's been with me for eight years. Oh, tragedy. Yeah. That sucks. I hate it when, when technology degrades. But yeah, my, my old tablet before I switched to this one, I think, um, I had it for like six years and then like the pen broke. And because I'd had it for so long, they weren't- the- the place that I got it from didn't sell replacement pens, so I just had to get a new one. But, yeah, display tablets are nice. They're very luxurious, and I feel like- oh, nice, 93.4%. I do feel like it's helped with certain aspects of, um... Oh! <gasps> wow! Like drawing circles! <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, it does- it does help, I- but it's difficult to articulate. It just makes it easier, I think, to- to really hone in on tiny details if you can see where your pen is hitting. Kind of like with traditional art, but you can, like, zoom into it, you know? Um, I feel like I've had a hard time transitioning back to seeing where I'm drawing, like, where my pen is, kind of like getting back into traditional art. I- th I think I know- I think I know what you mean. Um... Yes. <laughs> I have found that going for a while, like, not doing traditional art, like, if you just do digital art for a very long time and then suddenly you're like, I want to draw on a real piece of paper, it's difficult, and it doesn't turn out as good. Like, it, you almost have to relearn how to draw on, on paper if you've been doing digital stuff for a while. But, um... Yeah. Do I, well, I, I don't know exactly. Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad that I understood. <laughs> I'm glad that I understood. Let's see if we can get to 95.5, which seems to just be something that's a mindless activity. Maybe if I use my... Maybe if I... Maybe if I adjust... Oh! <gasps> I think that's the best we're gonna get. I said 95.5, we got 95.6. I don't think I'm gonna make a better circle <laughs> than that. All right, I'm gonna put this down. It's also, uh, it's kind of making my legs sweaty. All right, I'm not, I'm not wearing 
pants. I'm just in like boxers. But tablet on my bare legs. Because I had it in my lap. I can't put it on my desk because the, the pressure on my arm, it, it hurts my arm. But, um, so it was just sitting in my lap. But 95.6. Freehanded circle, babes. Cool. Nice. Best part of being a VTuber, right? I don't have to get dressed. <laughs> Who knows if I'm wearing clothes at any point ever, right? Certainly not you. God same. It's just so comfortable. It's just, it's so comfortable. I, I like, I never, I never wear pants when I stream. I never wear pants. I'm always, I'm in, I'm in, you guys are familiar with like, uh, like probably Disney, right? I'm wearing goofy boxers, like Goofy from Disney. <laughs> They're red and they've got Goofy's face on them. So, so that's what I'm wearing right now. Just Goofy boxers. And then a tank top. Um, I love that. <laughs> I love Goofy. I've always loved Goofy. One of the oldest possessions that I have is it's a, a pillow in the shape of Goofy's head. And it's, it's too old to use nowadays, so it's like, it's hanging in my closet on like a hanger, so it's nice and protected. I'm gonna keep it for the rest of my life. I love Goofy so much. I also have just like full on flannel pajamas with Goofy on them. <laughs> I love Goofy. I don't even know why. He's, he's just great. Uh, let's see, I think, how long, have, wow, we've already been streaming for an hour? Goodness, this is a lot of fun. Gets hot in my office because it's so cramped and I'll get warm from focusing so hard on the game. So sometimes I'll just randomly take my shirt off in the middle of a stream and nobody knows. Exactly! Streaming privileges. Streaming privileges. Streaming privileges. Let's see. I can, just for funsies, um, because I can do that. I'm taking off my, my, my cape. because yes. <laughs> okay, back to the game now. <laughs> I do love that I can take my cape off. Let's see. Man, rocks was so fun. I kind of wish that more rocks would spawn, though. What is less... Let's, let's settle this. Goodbye, cape. It's very, it's very toasty for a cape. Internet... Oh, internet debates. Oh, jeez. Have, to have raged for too long. It's time to settle the big questions so we can move on. Oh my goodness, how do you pronounce GIF? Listen. You listen to me. It's GIF. It is GIF. Because it is a graphic. 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 That's what the G stands for. Graphic. G. G, -g, -g. It's not traffic. It's graphic. <laughs> goodness gracious. You're so right. I'm so glad. It's GIF. G -g 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 graphic. <laughs> Not GIF peanut butter. Not Jiffy. Not Jiffy lube. Not. Not. Traffic. Not. Jeffrey. Well, I guess Jeffrey because you can spell Jeffrey with a G, but you have to be like, it's the it's the lame way to spell Jeffrey. Gayafree. <laughs> it's it's an auto it's an auto repair place it's called jiffy lube it's like you take your car there and they fix your vehicle <laughs> it's an auto place i don't know oil changes and stuff that's what it is they change your oil in a jiffy <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> okay good I should have had the foresight. This is this is Twitch. I should have had the foresight. I should have known better than to say the L word. Why are we looping cars? All right, oil changes. Yep. Make sure that your vehicle is well lubed before use. Every use. Um. <laughs> anyway, is the dress blue and black or white and gold? Um. I don't like this question because the answer is yes. The answer is subjective because I understand color theory. I hope I never hear that from a mechanic. <laughs> if I was a mechanic, I would make jokes at every possible 
turn. All the time. All the time, all the time. Which is why I'm not a mechanic. I think because I would get fired very quickly. Um, they'd be like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Um, we're gonna- I'm gonna say that the dress is blue and black because I like the colors blue and black. Not because I think the dress is actually that color. The internet has decided. Because the thing about the dress was, like, you would see both images side by side, right? So, like, it was- it was both a matter of perspective, it was a matter of color theory, it was a matter of just, like, literally there being two images, right? Like, I chose blue and black because I like that color combination more than I like the color combination of white and gold. So, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Um, it was the thing that preceded the chicken, which meant that the egg came first. Does that make sense? Like, if if I say if if I say that the it was the, do you understand what I'm saying? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Technically, the thing that came first preceded the chicken, which meant that it was the chicken. It was the thing that the chicken gave birth to that was the first chicken. You're so smart. I'm so glad that you think that. <laughs> Why are you fired from your last job? I wouldn't stop referring to oil changes as lubing cars. <laughs> I'm gonna text my best friend, and I'm gonna ask him, have you lubed your vehicle today? He's a car person, and I, he's gonna hate that. I'm gonna text him right now. I'm gonna text him right now. Hold on. Stand by. Okay. Hey, so have you lubed up your car lately question mark let's see what he says anyway um <laughs> i'll post a screenshot of that later if he responds he probably will It'll probably just be like tomorrow um anyway uh just totally like you know no context we'll see what he says it'll be funny uh should a sandwich be cut diagonally or horizontally? It depends on the mood. Depends on the mood, depends on the type of sandwich. Um, it, it completely depends. It completely depends. Like, if I was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I would cut it horizontally. If I'm making a grilled cheese, I'd cut it diagonally. It depends on the sandwich. Um, that being said, though, I made a grilled cheese, like, literally last night, and I did cut it diagonally, so for the purposes of this situation, we cut it diagonally. Horizontal PB&J? Yes, because I have a reason. I have a reason for this. Um, I have a reason for this. <laughs> the... I, as a person, I can't stand excessive amounts of certain textures. So... When I have a, a, you know, when I have a, a PB and J specifically, I don't like, I don't like the feeling of squishy peanut butter and squishy bread together, right? Too much of it. So, cutting it horizontally allows me to to strategically divide, like you know, the soft bread with the amount of crust, like. Versus if it's diagonal, there's just there's just too much. The the nature of the triangle presents way too much open space without easily accessible crust. So, so yes, there's a strategy here. I have a system for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But yes. Versus with like the grilled cheese, it's just crunchy all the way through. I just like the triangle shape in relation to a grilled cheese. I think if somebody handed me a horizontally cut grilled cheese, I, I would attack them. The most neurodivergent thing I've heard. <laughs> listen, listen. Sometimes you have to have a system. Sometimes it's, nece it's necessary. Um, is cereal a soup? I also had cereal yesterday. It's so valid though, because me too. I'm so glad. Okay, the truth come out. Is cereal a soup? What are your opinions? I would like to hear your opinions. Because... Is, is cereal a soup? What do we think? What do we think? Because I think... As a, as a, as a, as a dish? As a dish? Okay, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. Depends on how long it's been since- Ooh, that's a good point. That is an excellent point. That's a really good point, actually. I think... I think no. Let's see. 
I definitely do think it's circumstantial. Um, I think that as... Let, let's see, once the cereal has been there and has soaked the milk up and become mushy, yes, soup. Before that, no. That's an excellent point. Um, I, I agree with that. I also think that philosophically, and by technical definition, cereal is technically a soup. However, it's not, it's not a soup. In the same way that, like, a tomato can be used as a, or a, t a tomato is technically a fruit, but it's used as a vegetable, you know? Like, is cereal a soup? Yes and no. Is a tomato a fruit? Yes and no. Is tomato a vegetable? Yes and no. You know what I mean? So, um, we're gonna vote no. Okay. <laughs> the, this, this bar confused me for a second. I thought it was saying, like, most people decided that yes, it was a soup, and I was gonna be very, very shocked and appalled. Um, toilet paper over or under? I like it over. But that's also assuming that I will even put it back on the little ring. I was confused too. I'm glad <laughs> that I'm not alone in the confusion. Coconut has hair and produces milk, therefore coconut is a mammal. Exactly! Like, what, what, is it, what is a man? A man is a featherless biped, so we're gonna hold up a featherless chicken. Behold! A man. So, <laughs> you know, same thing. We're all philosophers in this chat. But, uh, anyway, yeah, toilet paper over or under? I chose over because it's just more convenient. However, I, I'm gonna be real. I'm not gonna be- I can't be arsed to, to, to put it back on the thing to begin with. Like, there's just a roll of toilet paper that sits on the counter next to the toilet. That's where it resides. I'm not gonna fucking put it back. Like, I'm not gonna make the extra step for myself. Um, let's see. I will if, like, people are coming over. Like, if I'm expecting guests, I'll be like, the toilet paper must be presentable. <laughs> over is easier to have access to, I agree. Um, it also doesn't get lost as easily. Like, you know, the, the start of it. Like, a roll of tape. Anyway, Pepsi or Coke? I like Coke. The toilet paper bar is a pain in the ass to take out and put it back in. Exactly! And also, those things break all the time. I don't know if it's because I just have bad luck with those things, but, like, the constant tension, one of those things is always breaking off. The, like, the bits from the wall, it's always coming loose. I definitely own a screwdriver so I can fix it, but, like, now I've just created, like, four steps in changing the toilet paper roll. Not only do I have to take the, the cardboard thing off, step one, go grab another roll of toilet paper, step two, put it back on the thing, step three, but now the fucking, now, now the thing broke because I took it off like too fast or something. I gotta go, go get the screwdriver. Now I gotta come back with the screwdriver, gotta align it, screw the thingy. Like, I said like five step process or whatever, but it's like really an, a 19,000 step process. Terrible. We're not replacing the toilet paper unless we have guests. Um, anyway, Pepsi or Coke? I like Coke. I am a Coke fan. Like, the drink. <laughs> I like the drink. Coke. Sounds like too much work. It is so much work. Is pineapple on pizza good? If you like pineapple on pizza, that's- you can like pineapple on pizza. I, however, am a basic bitch. I only like cheese and pepperoni pizza. But like, I, I don't like flavors. I cannot- I don't like flavors. So personally, I don't like pineapple on pizza. I do not think it's good. But if you think it's good, Enjoy your pineapple on pizza. <laughs> oh my god, twinsies. Haha. <laughs> I'm giving you a thumbs up. Let's see. Star Wars or Star Trek? I... I've never really seen Star Trek. Glad I won't be bullied for liking it. Nah, you can like whatever you like. But I, I've, I'll, I've never seen an episode of Star Trek. I've never seen an episode of Star Trek. Um... So just by default, I have to vote Star Wars, because I have seen Star Wars. Oh god, I feel bad for Star Trek fans. F. I just haven't seen Star Trek. Star, Star Trek. I have no opinion on this. Yeah, like, if, if there was a neither option, I would have voted neither, because I'm not a huge, diehard Star Wars fan. I've just seen Star Wars. I can't legally vote for Star Trek. Would a dog wear pants like this? Or like this? Um... Hmm. Let's 
let's see. I know Star Trek more than Star Wars, but honestly, don't care about either. There, there we go. There we go. Yeah, if there was a neither option, I would have hit neither. Um, I think a dog would wear pants like this on the hind legs because that's just sensible because they can use their hands like we use our hands. It would make sense if it's just on the hind legs because we wear pants on our hind legs. That makes sense. Could Jack have fit on the door in the movie Titanic? See, about this, I don't think it's a matter of there being space on the door. The door can only float with so much weight on it. And people ignore that because they're like, oh, he could have fit next to her. Like, but okay, first of all, there was literally a part where he tried to get on top of the door and almost knocked both of them off of the door because how was he going to strategically get on top? And then how are they both going to be managing their weight, balancing their weight in equal, like, measure to make sure that the, that the door's not going to just capsize or completely sink? That's the issue. It's not could he have fit. Yes, he could have fit. But, like, would the door have stayed afloat? Probably not. Would they both have had enough capability and, like, the faculties, you know, considering the huge trauma and the cold that they've gone through to be able to continuously balance the door to prevent them both from sinking? No. No. If he tried, they both would have died. That's what the question should be. Very passionate about this, evidently. Not on purpose, but you know, you ask me a question, I'm gonna think about the question and apply logic to the question. That is what logic dictates. Could he have fit on the door in the movie Titanic? Yes, I have to vote yes, because yes, he could have. That's the exact problem I have with the question too. I'm so glad <laughs> that we are agreeing on so many topics today <laughs> in this stream. Could Jack have fit on the door in the movie Titanic? If we take the question literally, could he have fit on the door? Yes, he could have fit on the door. Because that is the question being asked. The question being asked is not, could he have fit on the door so that they both could have survived? Would they have both survived had he fit on the door? That's not the question. The question is, could he have fit on the door? Yes, he could have fit on the door. <laughs> Big brain J. <laughs> Thank you. Are hot dogs a sandwich? Oh. Are hot dogs a sandwich? Again, it's the soup dilemma. Technically speaking, is a hot dog a sandwich? By definition, yes. But like culinarily, I don't think a hot dog is a sandwich. I don't think a hot dog is a sandwich. In the same way that I don't think pasta salad is a salad, I don't think a hot dog is a sandwich. So no, agreed, excellent. Marvel or DC, ah, I don't like either of them. Um, Marvel or DC? I don't really like either of them. Which superheroes do I like? Um, I'm not really a big superhero person. Yeah, neither. Um, if I had to pick a superhero... Well, if I had to pick superheroes, I would go with the X-Men, because the X-Men are badass, and those are Marvel, but I don't like Marvel. Like, X-Men is the only good Marvel franchise, in my opinion. But, like, DC has Batman, dude. Batman's so cool. I love Batman. In theory. Um, DC's got the Justice League. Oh, but Marvel? Hmm. X-Men. I gotta go with the X-Men. So, Marvel. Marvel wins. X-Men's good. X-Men's badass. Nightcrawler's an X-Men. How could I vote for, for not Nightcrawler? Magneto, right? We agree. Maybe. If you like DC, that's cool too. I also like DC. DC animated series are baller. I've been meaning to rewatch the Justice League and, and like, I guess a new... What was it? Like a new Superman cartoon just came out? I think? Because I keep seeing stuff about it. Superboy, maybe? I don't know. I love the animation for DC cartoons. Um... Should we get rid of Daylight Savings? Yes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't watch much hero stuff. Yeah, me neither. Like, superheroes aren't really my, my... I'm definitely more of an anime person than, like, a Western comics kind of person. Or superhero person. But, um... 
I have surface knowledge at best of superhero stuff. Uh, let's see. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation, because I've never owned an Xbox in my life. Versus there's a PlayStation on my desk right now. Are we living in a simulation? I'm a VTuber. <laughs> it's a difficult question for me to answer. Um, are we living in a simulation? No. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, man. <laughs> is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Why is that a question? What's the... Okay, I do know the history of Die Hard. Um... Because, like, didn't Die Hard come out on Christmas and it was, like, a smashing success? So it's a Christmas movie, quote-unquote, because it came out in the Christmas season. But it's not a Christmas movie because it's, it's like, it's not about Christmas, but it's a Christmas movie season, you know? Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Like, technically yes, but also technically no. Um, I'm just gonna say yes because I don't, I've, I don't even, I've never even seen Die Hard. So I don't even know if there is Christmas in it. I've never seen Die Hard. Oh, now we're getting into more controversial topics like brownies. Middle brownie piece or edge piece? Hmm. Middle brownie piece or edge piece? I like all brownies. I actually like the edge. I like the edge more than I like the middle because I'm a fan of like things with crust and crust equivalent. So I'm voting edge. Oh, we're almost like half and half. Is it okay for me to clip link? Yeah, yeah, I go go for it. You should be okay. Yeah, it should be alright. As far as my knowledge, I have not I have not disallowed links. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But yes, I am a fan of edge brownie pieces because I like I like the crusts on anything. Not just on brownies, but like also on sandwiches. That was the thing earlier. You know, sandwiches, I like crust. I like crunchy things. Edge piece on the brownie, but if there are no edge pieces left on the brownie, I will happily take a middle piece. I'm not going to be like stingy about my brownie selection. Let's see. Sock, shoe... Wait. Sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Or sock, sock, shoe, shoe. Oh! Like, you put on- do you put on one sock and then the shoe, and then you do the other foot? Or do you put your socks on, then your shoes on? Collective. I personally put my socks on, and then I'll put my shoes on. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe. Yes. Like, because- I don't know, usually, like, if I'm getting ready to go somewhere, I don't immediately put my shoes on. I put my shoes on right before I leave. I feel like the other is too much work. That, too. It also feels like advanced naked feet. Like, <laughs> I feel like I have to explain that. <laughs> like, you know how, okay, the, the only way that I, can, that I can really explain it is, like, you know, you could be naked, right, from head to toe. You could be wearing absolutely nothing. But somehow you feel more naked if you put shoes on while the rest of you is butt naked. Right? You can somehow unlock advanced nakedness by adding an extra element. I feel like sock shoe while it's like New Game Plus but Naked Plus. Exactly, exactly. I feel like sock shoe while your other foot is still sockless you have unlocked advanced bare feet <laughs> like and it's just barefoot barefoot plus but like derogatory you know so it's sock sock shoe shoe what the fuck okay no okay i thought this was the opposite i was gonna huh i thought that 83 percent of people did sock shoe sock shoe gave me a heart attack for a second there i was like what's wrong with humanity gosh that caused me, whew. 
caused me a bit of an emotional dilemma. This conversation has me rolling. <laughs> uh, this was a good this I, I this was a good decision to to stream this today. We're having all kinds of thoughts. Uh, iPhone or Android? I'm an Android person. Um, I'm I'm just an Android person. I've never personally owned an iPhone. If you have an iPhone, that's fine. I use an Android. It's whatever. It's the pineapple on pizza thing. You could use whatever you use. You could use whatever you use. I was actually looking into trying or to to getting an iPhone specifically for for like better tracking because I just use a webcam and it kind of sucks sometimes. My, web, my webcam is also like eight years old, so I was like, maybe if I get an iPhone, my tracking will improve because it should. But like, so you know, you could different devices are better for different things. It's the same thing versus like like you know a, a laptop computer versus a desktop computer. Like you know. Different purposes, different things. Different technologies, different devices. Uh, yeah, iPhone's better for that. Yeah, I've I, so I've heard, which is why I was I was looking into it. But um, but yeah, you can use whatever device you want to use. Does a straw have one hole or two? Straw has two holes. One on each side, one on each end. Because it's a tube, but it's got two holes. Oh no, do you disagree? Is it just one hole? <laughs> it's a tube with one long hole. See, that is admirable, but also... I think, I think it's... You're right, also. Like, that's the thing. However, I, I would consider it two holes. It's like how a donut only has one hole. Hmm... That is, that is a... A good perspective way to put it. Hmm. Hmm. That is a very good point. <laughs> it, I, I'm glad I didn't say it out loud, but uh, the first thought, or the thought that I was gonna say out loud was, I wonder what defines a hole. <laughs> I wonder what defines a hole indeed. Um. <laughs> this <laughs> This is why we think before we speak. <laughs> Usually. That would have been so good. Oh man. I mean I said it anyway. Fully with full implications. Um I it that's it that's a really good point though. Equating equating a straw to just like a donut. You have changed my perspective, Chai. It is one hole. Oh, and 59% of the internet would agree. Smooth or chunky peanut butter? This is the last question. I like smooth peanut butter. But if you like chunky peanut butter, that's fine. I just, I don't like... Oh, okay. I don't really like peanut butter. Like, we had this conversation with the sandwich. I'm not really a big fan of peanut butter. If I have peanut butter on anything, it's a, it's such a small amount of peanut butter. Um, Chunky got so much going on. Exactly. That's, that's the exact issue for me. If I already don't really like peanut butter, why would I want, why would I want more peanut in the butter? You know, I like smooth. No, oh, most people agree. Like if you like chunky peanut butter, that's fine. But I'm just not a peanut butter person. I can't stand conflicting textures like crunchy and smooth. See, we are on the same page. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. So sad that was the last one, right? I would easily, I, I want like there to be 25 more questions at least. That was really fun. Are there any other questionnaires? I just love answering things. Um, that was really fun. Let's see. Maybe we can do... Oh, God. Should we do life checklist? It's similar to boba. I unfortunately cannot have boba because I don't like chewy stuff in my drink. I like boba, but it grew on me. I did not like it when I first tried it. My fr my my best friend... Um, has he responded, by the way? No. <laughs> About the car lube. Um... <laughs> My best friend was really, really into boba, and I'd never had it before. 
so he took me out and we got boba one day and i had no idea what to expect i had no clue what boba really was i'd seen it around but i had no clue i didn't know what it was so i had boba and i was like that's the weirdest thing i've ever had in my entire life um and i didn't really like it but i was like i didn't hate the taste it was just the texture was weird yeah, that's un the it's yeah, it was it was very weird, but it wasn't weird enough for me to not have it again. I was like, okay, we'll try it again, and if it doesn't improve the second time, no boba. But it got better the second time, so it was I, it's it's grown on me gradually. But I didn't like it when I when I first tried it. It was weird. It's the only slimy kind of texture that's acceptable for me. Yes. I think I already read that. I don't know. Did I? I can't remember anything. Um, speaking of memory, let's draw logos from memory. Draw the McDonald's logo. Um, it's funnier if I use my if I just use the mouse. Mc. Oh gosh. McDonald's. I wish it was like percent. Draw the Nike logo. Ugh. 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 Oh. <laughs> Darn. Don't remember either. I'm glad that we're, we don't remember it. Draw the Apple logo. Um. I think I did that backwards. Fuck! <laughs> I did! Uh, oh, gotta run to the store. Yes, have a safe trip, and thanks for coming to stream. It was a pleasure as always, my friend. Draw the Starbucks logo. Oh, this one's difficult. Well, we've got a thing down here. I think there was actually a break in the middle. Um. And then... Oh, no. She's got a face. <laughs> and some luscious locks. Um. <laughs> a crown, maybe? Oops. Um. <laughs> and she's holding something. I think. But she's also a mermaid, if I recall correctly. Um. <laughs> We've got, like, laurels. The that's what these are. Um. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> maybe that weren't but maybe it wasn't laurels. Um Hey Starbucks. Um sponsor me or something. I'm very good at advertising your brand. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Draw the Amazon logo. Amazon logo. Well, like, the, 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 the smiley face? I don't remember what direction it goes in. Isn't it, like, winking? And it's like, wow! And it's an arrow because it's like, you go places. Oh, that's what they wanted. Okay. Me living next to a Starbucks and I don't even remember how exactly she looked. Right, like, you would, like, it's, it's the gist. I remembered the lines and the hair and the crown. But I, I didn't know they wanted, I didn't think it was, like, written out Amazon. I thought it was the one that shows up on boxes, so whatever. But I got the direction of the arrow right. Exactly. Pepsi logo. Bepis. Um. Bepis. Bepis. I don't know. Oh. I mean, it would be easier if I had, like, blue. I got close. Looks more like a hamburger, though. Remember the Pilk era? Oh god, the Pilk era. It's still going on. The Pilk era never ends. Who was it? I was watching... Um, I was watching this other VTuber. I think it was probably six months ago now. Um, Ezra Andromeda. And they did the Pilk challenge. And they got, like... A bunch of different kinds of, of milk to make different flavors of Pilk. So they had like, you know, the cat, like just regular, regular pilk. 
and then they had strawberry pilk, and then chocolate pilk. <laughs> yeah, it was it was quite it was quite a stream. Um, it was quite a stream. <laughs> Draw the Twitter logo. Anyway. <laughs> um, moving on. <laughs> Snapchat logo. Didn't the Snapchat ghost used to have like a face? Did he have arms? It's X on my phone now. Yeah, it, it updated for me this morning too. is not going very well. I don't know if it still has arms. I actually uninstalled Snapchat just the other day because I never used it. Um. Oh, it does have arms! They're up, though. Not to the side. Also, that yellow is just blinding when you have to stare at it for a while. The NASA logo? Oh, gosh. space on top of whoops that's not a very good circle and we've got uh, this looks like just a nasa hamburger i don't know what nasa looks like i know it's supposed to be like wiggly in the center oh yeah i was totally wrong <laughs> i was totally wrong i apologize nasa <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry draw the google logo like It's just a G. Or like Google. Google. Yeah, they wanted the whole word. Why was it gonna painstakingly spell Google? Oh my, I have different colors! Well, I wish I'd known that earlier. I don't know if your eyes are sensitive, but mine are, so whenever my girlfriend uses my PC, she always talks about how dark my monitor is. <laughs> <laughs> I I do have sensitive eyes. My special eyes. I didn't know that I could click on this to get different colors. I wish I'd known that sooner. Draw the Android logo. The Android logo? I don't even know what that looks like. Android logo. Let me go into my memory banks. Android. Oh, it's a little robot! He's just a little dude. Oh, I forgot to draw his eyes. Well, now that I have colors at my disposal, I'll give him some eyes. I think this is what he looks like. Does he have arms? He's just a little dude. Oh, yeah, he did have arms. And legs! Well, mine was close. Mine's cuter. Spotify logo. Spotify logo. I, I don't use Spotify. Um, let's see. Isn't it just like, wow, that's garbage looking. Just like radio waves. I was close! I was close! I just went the, the opposite direction with, with the colors. Did nega Spotify. I did, like... <laughs> I did notify. Um, <laughs> okay, I think I'll do, uh, one more. Spotify got Wi-Fi now. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. We'll do one more. Which one looks interesting? Which one looks interesting? I don't want to do spend Bill Gates money because it's just like you click on stuff. And it's, it's like you don't, you don't do anything with that one. I'm aware of what that one is. Let's see. What should we do? No clue. Uh, let's see. Street view seems boring. Asteroid launcher I tested earlier. That's boring. 
day since incident just seems a little bit boring as well. Let's do... Let's do life stats. My birth date. Negative one. <laughs> one. Fifteen. Oh, I know what this is. It's gonna tell me, like, how many minutes and stuff I've been alive. Um, I'm actually not quite sure what year. Oh, wait, my mouse is gonna die. Let me plug this in. Because I have a wireless mouse until it decides to lose charge. Let's see. You know, because according to my lore... It'd be like 17 something or other. No, I just don't know the actual <laughs> 17 something or other, which I don't even think it would calculate. So we're not going to do that one after all. Let's do universe forecast. Oh goodness, what's this? Universe forecast. What is the future of the universe? Using some science, we can make a few predictions. In 2061, Halley's Comet will return again. Is this interactive? No. Maybe we'll do another one after this, depending on if, if this one is just... Statistics. In 2178, Pluto will complete its first orbit since discovery! Wow! How long does it take Pluto to go around the... When was Pluto discovered? I don't know. Wow, 2178. In 2300, after traveling billions of kilometers, Voyager 1 will finally reach the Oort Cloud. I don't know what the Oort Cloud is. I do know what Voyager is, though. In 50,000 years, the star V.Y. Canis Majoris will explode in a supernova. Oh, interesting. The explosion will outshine the rest of the Milky Way? Wow. Maybe if I'm alive in 50,000 years, it'll be interesting to see. Um, in 75,000 years, a new Hawaiian island will surface. Oh, cool. Earth is such an interesting place. In 100,000 years, many of today's constellations will be unrecognizable. That makes sense. In a million years, two of Uranus' moons will collide. Hmm. My goodness. <laughs> Personally wouldn't take that. <laughs> That's a long time. Planet can't catch a break. Milky Way got to stand its ground. When, I wonder if, if, because isn't the, the Milky Way is colliding, uh, which I say generously, with the Andromeda Galaxy, but I don't know how long that's going to take. Maybe it'll be a statistic here. Um, in 50 million years, the Martian moon Phobos will slowly break up. Like, it'll just... Oh, so Mars will get its own ring. Oh, I see. That's cool. In 50 million years. In a hundred million years, as Mars gains a ring, sla Saturn will slowly lose them. Oddly, Saturn will spend most of its life without rings. It's just a phase. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. So that makes me think, do the rings... I don't know a lot about space. Um, I have a, I have a friend whose spe special interest is space. I could probably just ask her. But like with the Saturn's ring, because I know they're just like debris and stuff. Um, so does the debris just gradually deteriorate or does it get like flung off of Saturn's like orbit? Like, what what is the nature of Saturn's rings dispersing? Maybe I'll look that up if I remember. Very interesting though. In 180 million years, the moon continues gradually slowing down, slowing down the Earth. One to the same, to be honest. Yeah, it's, I, I don't, I like I said, I don't know enough about space to even hazard a guess. But, um, the moon continues gradually slowing down the Earth. Days will become 25 hours long. Hopefully work hours won't also increase. Well, in, uh, 180 million years. Um, we'll be lucky to be around, I think. 
25 hours long. Now I'm thinking about the Borderlands series, because on Borderlands, in the first Borderlands game, you find an echo log, and, one, and, and the character speaking, Dr. Tannis, mentions that the day cycle on Pandora is like 76 hours long. That's if the Earth is even habitable, right? Exactly, exactly. I want to play the Borderlands games. Again. It's been a long time since I've played Borderlands. They're one of my, it's one of my favorite game series. Um, I love it so much. I would just, I would just want to play it with, like, a group of people, because you can play co-op with up to three other people, so it's a group of four, including yourself. And I have two other friends who, who also were interested in playing Borderlands. They're both streamers, but time zones, figuring out dates and stuff. Um, it's a pain in the butt. So who knows if that'll ever happen, but it would just be, be really fun to just get the full Borderlands experience and, like, have a full party. Because I've never played Borderlands like that before. I usually just play it solo. Um, let's see. In 600 million years, the last total solar eclipse happens? Time zones be crazy. They sure do. They sure do be. The last total solar eclipse. Why? Since the moon is further away, total solar eclipses will no longer be possible. Huh. Space is wild. In 800 million years, the sun, as the sun becomes brighter, photosynthesis is no longer possible on Earth. Oh. Oh. Without plant life, all animals go extinct. Yeah. Yeah. And single-cell organisms dominate the Earth once again. Cool, so we're gonna get a hard reset in 800 million years then. interesting. That's fascinating. Actually. That's fascinating. Hmm. Deserved. <laughs> if, if only it wasn't so far away. Uh, in 1.1 billion years, the sun will be 10% brighter and the average temperature on Earth will reach... 116 degrees Fahrenheit on average? Oh, lordy lord. That is quite toasty. And so the oceans will evaporate? Is that all it takes? Just that temperature? Only 116 degrees Fahrenheit would, would mean in the eventual total evaporation of the Earth? Or the Earth, of the Earth. Of the, of the Earth's oceans, that's it? Huh. I figured the temperature would need to be higher than that. Hmm, interesting. Um, but on the bright side, on the bright side, Mars will enter the habitable zone and could provide a new home. We'll be dead by then. That's so interesting, isn't it? That is very interesting. But I don't think human beings will be around. Well, we won't be around long enough. Because we are not single-celled organisms. But it's interesting that Mars is projected to, to be able to sustain um, similar life. So, in, you know, a billion years. That is very interesting. In five billion years? Ah, look! Like I said, the Andromeda Galaxy will collide with the Milky Way. And our new home will be called the, the Milk Dromeda. Couldn't we come up with a better name? <laughs> why, why not just call it the Milky Dromeda? Because that just, it's sillier, but it sounds better than Milk Dromeda. Why can't we come up with a better name? <laughs> Milk Dromeda. It sounds like, like, baby's first attempt at a ship name. We will gain a trillion neighboring stars. Anyone left will see an incredible night sky. Interesting. Or just a new name totally. Exactly, exactly. Just rename the whole thing. In 7 billion years, as the sun becomes a red giant, it grows 256 times its current size. Makes you think of Total Drama Island. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, can, I can see why. Uh, let's see, after billions of years of providing energy to the Earth, the sun eats the Earth. Oh, hungry. There we go. Eat up. It was a good run, but the Earth was freeloading for too long. <laughs> The sun also eats Mercury and Venus for good measure. Oh, very hungry. 
Hungry indeed. Just a little snack. In 8 billion years, after the sun's rampage, it cools down and becomes a white dwarf star. Any remaining life will need to get a lot closer to stay warm. The space, space is so interesting. In 450 billion years, the 50 plus galaxies in the local group merge. Oh. Yeah, like that's interesting. The, the whole sun thing. As well as the, the merging of, of 50 plus galaxies. What are we gonna call that one? The the Mega Milk? <laughs> mega Mega Milk Dromeda. Um <laughs> uh, Fucking Mega Milk. Ridiculous. Um <laughs> In one trillion years. Radiation left over from the Big Bang becomes undetectable. <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that we ha that we were able to, to detect radiation from the Big Bang regardless. Though I guess that does make sense, because otherwise how would we know that something like that had happened? It has to be detectable. There has to be evidence of something like that. But, gotta make some art with a galaxy shirt saying Mega Milk. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna... There was something else from I forget what it was oh because I, I talked about how I'm not wearing pants and how I'm just wearing like my goofy boxers when I said that I fully intended to just like draw a little doodle of of myself streaming in like nothing but my goofy boxers I could also just draw Vitruvian Mega Milk space shirt <laughs> I think I'll do that that'd be funny just some quick little funny funny doodles That'd be hilarious. Babe, wake up. New Vitruvian J merch just dropped. Can you imagine? Fucking Mega Milk. God, that's so silly. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just- I'm thinking about the- I'm thinking about the Mega Milk shirt. Oh man. I will draw them. I will draw them. So keep an eye out, out on on a, on a, on Twitter. I will be drawing them. My stomach is laughing. <laughs> I'm I'm nothing if not funny sometimes. Uh, let's see. In ten trillion years, red dwarf stars turn into the first ever blue dwarf stars. What are the difference between the classes of dwarf star? Again, I don't know enough about space because we've got white dwarf star, red dwarf star, blue dwarf stars. Does it have something to do with age? Or is it like heat? What's a- what's a- what's a- I'm gonna have to- I'll message my friend later and be like, hey, I have space questions. And she'll be like, I've got ten academic essays at the ready. What do you want? But, um... I don't know. This is making me have a lot of questions about space. In a hundred trillion years, the gas clouds needed to make stars are depleted? Somewhere in the universe, the last star is born, and soon only white dwarf, brown dwarf, and neutron stars are left. Huh. I didn't know that stars were, like, finite in creation. I know that their lives are finite. I know that stars are born and then they expire. But I guess I never really thought about how stars were created in the first place. Huh. Interesting. So someday we'll run out of stars. In a hundred trillion re years or so. That's kind of sad. But in, oh my goodness, that's a lot of years. 10 to the 15th power. However many years that is. I don't have a calculator. Um, everything outside my brain is overriding with knowledge, right? I'm learning, we're learning so much. In, in 10 to the 15, so that's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, That's a lot. That's a lot of years. Um, I don't have a calculator. Um, 
everything outside the local group is impossible to reach during the or due to the expansion of the universe. Even the speed of light won't be fast enough to reach distant galaxies. Huh. How fast does the universe expand? I know that the universe expands. And it is it is infinitely expanding. Um how fast does it expand? Have we been able to measure that? I don't know. Space! In 10 to the power of 17 years. White dwarf stars cool to black dwarf stars? And the universe is dark. The only natural light comes from the occasional supernova. So the universe just goes back to step one, then, with nothing in it. In 10 to the 30 power years, black holes are the only things remaining, and they are massive. Wow. But even they slowly evaporate from hawking radiation. In the last few seconds of a black hole's life, it will emit a burst of light, providing the last light in the universe. Like the final firework show, but each firework billions of years apart. That's insane. After that, the universe is basically dead, with nothing of interest happening. But don't worry, there's plenty of time left. It's one plus the amount of power in zeros. That's a lot, though. Or that then, not though. If the life of the universe was one year, you're living in the first millisecond of January 1st? What? Dude, that's insane. I can't even wrap my head around that. I literally cannot fathom that. That blows my mind. You're living in the first millisecond of the beginning of the year. We really have not been around for very long, have we? <laughs> I know that we haven't as a species. I, I recognize that. Human beings are, are very much young and new in the grand scheme of existing. Would you say that it is out of this world? Unbelievable! Unbelievable. I'm afraid we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> I'm kidding. Man. Out of this world. Out of this world. <laughs> We're breaking up. But... That is, that's like, real talk though, it's... <laughs> it's, I, I understand. If the joke presents itself perfectly you can't you can't pass up a good joke you can't pass up a good joke i will accept your pun but man yeah that's crazy that's crazy dad jokes are top tier i agree i do love a good dad joke usually i'm the one making the dad joke but it's nice to be on the, the other end of, of hearing one and then feeling my soul crumble. <laughs> Much appreciated, yes. But man, I'm gonna be thinking about that now, all day. The, the, the shortness of existence in the grand scheme of everything. But anyway, let's go back to the front page. Man. Well, that was a really cool way to end with with that. I think that was a good I think that was a good choice. I think that one was good. Well, this was a lot of fun. It was much more fun than I thought it was going to be, and I also streamed for like literally an hour and 15 minutes longer than I thought I was going to. I didn't think I'd be so interested in it, but I really was into it. Me too! Me too. This was fun. Maybe I'll come back and I'll do some other ones like the Password game or something in the future. 
but um because i don't know i don't know what it is but like okay so the reason i didn't do the password game though is because a lot of my hotkeys are as we discovered earlier um just like regular keys on the keyboard so like if i had to press the letter m for the password game i would mute myself which doesn't really make for good uh streaming so <laughs> I would I would need to either disable all of my hotkeys or or get like a stream deck or something. But yeah, so maybe in the future we'll come back to to neil.fun for some more neil.fun. But yeah, this was really fun. Um let's see. It is 2 p.m. I know that nobody I know is is on right now, so I'm not even gonna bother going to look for a raid. I don't fucking feel like it. Whenever I stream, Twitch just gets so... When I open the internet to go search for, for a stream, it takes like 10,000 years to load the dashboard, so I'm not even gonna bother today. I don't feel like it. But, thank you for coming and spending so much time with me. This was great. I had a great time. I hope you also had a great time. And thank you for the for the clip earlier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and watch it. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. This was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm streaming again tomorrow. Um, also here on Twitch, because I'm trying to I'm trying to do affiliate. I think um, a great clipper at your service. Thank you very much for for your service and your very hard work. But uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, around the same time, I'm streaming Assassin's Creed just gonna keep doing that. Who knows how long that stream will be. I get caught playing Assassin's Creed. I'll be like, oh, I'm only gonna play for like two hours. It'll be a normal stream. And then like six hours later, <laughs> I'm still playing Assassin's Creed. But uh, there's just it's just so fun. I could play it for hours. I'll be working, but I'll be there in spirit. I appreciate your presence in spirit, but uh, also like F for being at work. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for being here and hanging out with me today. I'm going to pop over to the end screen. But uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I look forward to streaming again. And I look forward to seeing you here again. So uh, yeah, my name is Vitruvian J. Have a great day, everybody. I'm glad we all had such a good time. But yeah, bye-bye. I will see you next time. Have a good day.